What's up YouTube? How's it going? Back again for another random tandem channel video. <laughs> What's up beautiful people of the internet too? All you beautiful people. Hey. Anyways, I would just like to say thank you for all my new subscribers. I appreciate all 2400 of you, almost. Uh, I try not to flood this channel with too much video content. And I've noticed that, you know, people get more like, hey, what's he going to upload? So, you know, they subscribe more, right? If you keep flooding it with the same old crap, uh, it gets boring. So I try to keep this channel pretty random. Um, if you notice, there's lots of videos that are kind of similar, but uh, you know, like giveaway codes or I talk about my kids or just me rambling. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of running out of ideas. Want to know why? Because I have over a thousand fucking videos on my channel, okay? So creep those out for a while, will ya? And hit that like and subscribe button and thank you so much. It's not about the money, now it's about the content and I want to give you guys decent content. A lot of it, now this video today, because I'm bored as hell on Sunday, may not pertain to you, but I'm just going to say it like this. If you're interested in doing garbage and recycling, I am a truck driver and I do recycling, I've done garbage. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons, okay? So you're looking for a job, you know, this might pertain to like 1% of you guys. And in a lot of places, like if you're from the States and stuff, they have like a claw that comes out and picks it up. So you don't even have to get out of your truck. Like that is awesome. But I'm just going to tell you right now, if you're looking at a job and I'm not here bashing companies, I'm just letting you guys know the pros and cons of doing garbage and recycling. I've been doing recycling for over two years. Now I don't mind the job itself, but a lot of a lot of people can't handle doing it. And I always get told, like, oh, you have a nice truck, or this and that. And like, you gotta bust your balls, man. If you are not a hard worker, don't even look at that, okay? You're basically a laborer with a truck. Plain and simple. Because a lot of truck drivers, are like, oh, yeah, well, I've done all these jobs. They come to our company, they're gone within a week. They see dollar bills, and that's it. It pays more, but you're doing more, right? You're paid on what you're worth. And if you don't know a lot, well, that's what you're paid. So if you can maneuver on vehicles and do lots of labor work, be quick, be productive, come to work every day, drive that big ass truck that you already know how to drive, well then you're a bonus. But if you're a big flat, fat blob truck driver, they won't even look twice at you. Sorry, you gotta be active. But in a lot of places, if you can just claw it out or a front end loader, yeah, that way, sure, like, you gotta work your way up, those are like $27, $28 an hour jobs. <laughs> Lots of backing up, you gotta pay attention, check your mirrors, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, the pros and cons of doing recycling. The pro, keeps you in shape, you can find stuff, uh, you meet lots of cool people. Um, you know, the pay is decent, a lot of those jobs pay good. And I'm only basing it on where I live in Ontario, Canada. And if you are a garbage or recycling guy, please leave your comments down below and let me know how you're treated and how you're paid. I would love to know how much you like your job. Um, there's lots of perks to doing recycling. I find lots of coffee stickers. Uh, you get lots of free coffee. I haven't paid for coffee in over two years. Um, a lot of people, you know, we're not going to call them stupid, you know. But a lot of people don't roll their cups. Or it's always they'll throw out ten cups that are already rolled up, but that one cup they forget, you win on it, right? So check it out. If you drink coffee, you got lots of coffee. Um what's another pro? Uh, you know, work environment's good, you know, you meet lots of people. If you have a big fleet. Now there's quite a bit of cons with this kind of work. You are working alone, so you have to pay attention, and anything that happens is your responsibility. You are working alone, so you have no one to talk to. So you got a little headphone in. Uh, you know, someone calls you during the day. Obviously, still be alert. Like you don't want to run anybody over. It is a very repetitive stop and go job, and a lot of people can't handle repetitive work. And truck driving kind of keeps it like, like there's a lot of boring jobs out there. But as a trucker. You sit down with one of those guys and they got stories coming out of their ass. Because our job is so random. And, you know, random video shit. And it's so, like, 
what's going to happen next? But when you're always going to the same old little part of town or this and that, doing the same old stop and go, stop and go shit, it could get boring. But I look at it as I'm in a little neighborhood and I'm not out on the road. I'm not breaking down. I'm not getting into any accidents. I'm not driving in shitty weather all the time. Well, I am, but I'm not like booting it down the highway doing 100 kilometers an hour. Um, it's just a nice little neighborhood. So I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more cautious about my surroundings. You know, you start to drive all day, you get lazy, you start drifting off, texting while driving, and then boom, you know, you see all those transports all fucked up. We're all professional drivers, and you have to be more careful in a commercial vehicle, but people tend to uh, snooze off, right? You get, you get used to your work. Ooh, it's a hot tamale today. You just, you get used to doing the same old stuff all the time, right? So you gotta keep your mind uh, focused. And pay attention when you're doing garbage and recycling, period. You know, um, another con is the weather. A lot of people cannot handle working in storms or desert heat or rainstorms or hailstorms, let alone drive in them. You have to drive in it on top of working in it. When the bins are frozen, you're picking those up, bud. That's contract. That's your job. And I've heard from multiple drivers. You know what? I'm not going to say stuff like that, but, uh, you know, anyways, um, you know, flip the bins, uh, make it look nice and neat, don't drive on people's property, don't use people's property to turning, a lot of them have dead end streets, so you, you can't reverse, you know, only gravel, and you can't use people's driveways to turn around, it'll crush their, it'll crush their pavement. Because the trucks are so fucking heavy. But a lot of the grids and cities are designed like, oh, dead end, small vehicle turn. Well, we have a big ass truck. We can't turn around there. We're not doing a 90 point turn. Reverse, reverse back down. Dump your bucket or packer that shit in. Um, all in all, it's decent. You know, if you can handle weather, um, being in shape is a must or it'll get you in shape. I lost 30 pounds working there and I still work there. <coughs> um, i trying to think if there's any more pros and cons for recycling. So you'll find stuff, you'll meet lots of cool people, the pays are pretty decent with a lot of these companies. It's contract work so like I said I bought my truck and stuff but you know you gotta like when's your contract up? It's kind of rude to be like hey I'll get hired on but oh your contract's up in 10 months? Like fuck I ain't buying no house doing that. Uh, you know, we're always hurting for truck drivers, right? This world needs them. But a lot of those guys are on contracts, so find out how long their contract is, their benefits, their pay. I know I got lucky with my company, so I'm quite happy um, with that. And, you know, you're treated um, pretty good in that work field. Just uh, pull your own weight and don't be a little dog bitch. Uh, now, pros and cons of working garbage. Now, the pro is you have a partner. Uh, a lot of times you have a partner. There's a packing machine. So as you fill up, it crunches it. When you're in a recycling truck, some recycling trucks are not packing machines. So as they fill up, you know, when you're full, you're full. But you can go longer and go further in a packing truck. It squishes it, obviously. Um, another pro to doing garbage, you know, you're obviously done earlier, you have a second partner. And I've done garbage and it's a lot, way more physical labor, even though you switch out. Sometimes a lot of companies make you work together. So maybe some companies have two guys on the back, I don't know. Let me know if you're a garbage guy or a recycling guy, where you work. No, I don't care where you work. Or how your job operates. Um, you know, that's pack the shit down, oh uh, shit, what else, this is just, I'm just shooting these off the top of my head here, I'm really sorry if I'm taking forever, uh, you know, you, you could be done earlier, fit all your stuff on, uh, you know, you might not have to go up for a second load, a lot of you guys can get it all on one, if that makes sense to the garbage guys, um, 
you know, the con, it, it pretty much works the same way. You know, the weather sucks. You got to watch how you drive those trucks. Maybe your partner pulls up ahead too much or not enough or he doesn't come out and help you. Like, you know what I'm getting at for all the truckers out there. Um, you know, you meet cool people. That's basically it. You got to be physically fit, excuse me, to do garbage and recycling. And there's limits. So people putting out like all kinds of crap. You know, sort your stuff. Sort your recycling. You know, some places, I know they don't care they sort it. Because when you go to the plant, they sort it for you. Cool. A lot of places aren't like that. So sort your stuff. It really does help. It saves a lot of hassle. Just please sort your stuff. So yeah, that's just a quick random video. I can't really think of any more uh, pros and cons for garbage. It's just a straightforward job. Uh, if you're not physically active and you don't think you can do it, like I should just get a GoPro and show you the hustle I do doing that job. All day in the blistering heat, bring lots of water. I'm telling you, man, do not apply for these places if you don't think you can handle it because you won't last. You will quit. They won't fire you. You will quit. And don't go retarded crazy fast because then you're not being attentive and alert and paying attention to what you're doing. And then you crash. So watch your license, watch your work, do your job properly, and go home at the end of the day and go do it again tomorrow. <laughs> and that's all I got on garbage and recycling. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random videos as I try to upload once a week. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.